Squarespace versus Wix. Which one is the best website builder for beginners? Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between Squarespace and Wix and we'll figure out which one is better for you to create your own professional website as a complete beginner. So let's get into it. So first of all, let's get to Wix.com. Wix.com is a very famous website builder that allows you to create your own blogs. You can create portfolio websites, business websites, and much more. Similarly, we have Squarespace.com, which is also another a very famous website builder that allows you to create your own blogs, professional websites, and portfolio. These two platforms also allow you to create a website for free. They have a free plan available and they are very easy to use. They have their own website builders and that is why we get confused that which one is actually better to use as a complete beginner. So that is why I'll give you a walkthrough and I'll show you all of the different tools and features that we get so you can get a better idea and make an informed decision. So up first, we have Wix.com. So on Wix, you can sign up for free with your Google account and it'll take you right here. Here I have some of my websites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to either create a new website right here. Now with Wix, we have a Wix classic and uh, a Wix editor which is the new editor X and that works in layers so it totally depends on you what editor you want to use for instance this is the website that I was creating with the editor X uh, while this is the website that I'm creating with the classic editor so they're similar but this one is for more you can say uh, people who are into website building and who actually like to work in layers um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up any of the websites from here and take you to the wix uh, website builder and editor and here we have our main dashboard first so you can see on wix we have our own um you know whole panel to help us with everything we have communications we have automations marketing tools available analytics finances sales channels so when you create a website you will be getting everything right here so this is our main dashboard and then you can go to the editor by clicking on edit site uh, so within our dashboard we are getting a lot of different things on squarespace as well we have our own dashboard we can actually log in and it will give us our own account and with that account i'll be able to then access all of my websites and then we can edit the website we want when it comes to the dashboard i would say that wix actually has a lot of different tools available here and they're very clear like if you want marketing tools they will be given here in this panel at one place but on squarespace you will have to actually find different things and they're available within the website where you will be editing it so now it'll just load my editor and i'll also actually uh, open up a website on squarespace so you can see on squarespace we have a lot of different templates available on wix um so squarespace uh we have all of these templates and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just get started with any of these and it'll open up our squarespace website and we'll open up a wix website and do a uh you know side by side comparison so here we have our wix editor you can see and i have also opened up our squarespace editor so let's check out the wix one uh, on Wix Editor, you'll be able to find your site. Then we have settings, dev mode, and hire a professional as well. So this is going to be your editor right here. And we have pages. So in pages, you will be able to create new pages, uh, access all of the pages of the theme of the template that you have created. And you can also delete pages from here and create new ones as well. So here we have add elements, add section, menu, and pages. Then we have site design, add app my business, media, content manager, and marketing and analytics. So if I click on the add element, it will allow you to add elements such as image, buttons, stripes, we have decoratives, we have box, gallery that we can add. Then we have video and music, uh, socials, payments, content manager, blog, store, bookings, events, community, and design. So we can also create an, uh, an online store with Wix. When it comes to any of the elements, once you select it, for instance, I want to add text. So you go to text right here and it will show you different uh, templates for the text. It will show you all of the styles you can go for the fonts that are available. Similarly, if I want to add buttons, so you just go to the buttons right here and it will show you uh, all of the different buttons that are available. You can see themed buttons, we have image buttons um, and we have like 
document buttons then we have text and icon you will be able to explore and select the button of your choice so this is actually pretty impressive when it comes to decorating your website uh, we have add section so add section allows us to add a blank section or any kind of other section to our website such as a welcome section that we can add we have about team contact services subscribe testimonials clients store booking event and more then we have pages right here so in menu and pages we'll be able to customize our menu and our pages that we have created so you can create sub pages you can create um, drop down menus uh, with wix moving on we have add app so add app means that there is a wix app market this is actually one of the features that make wix stand out and it has a huge wix app market that allows you to add different elements that are not available and some of the add-ons that you want to add such as comments uh, then we have like social media icons we have uh, different um, integrations that we want to add we have wix store we have wix blog available we have marketing platforms we have galleries that we can add and different types of apps that you want to add you can search right here and they will be added to your website then we have my business and media in media you can upload any kind of image from your drive facebook and add it to your website when it comes to the editor right here you can see you can go to the elements it's a simple uh select and then you can just select it and drop it wherever you want it to be uh, and editing you can scroll up and down here we have our main editor and you'll be able to move all of the different uh, sections very easily you can see you can make them large and small then we have zoom in zoom out option all of the different options right here so once you're done you'll be able to actually get a preview of your website and then publish from here so this is like in an overview of the wix website builder as a beginner it is actually really easy to work with wix classic and it allows you to kind of like change your images really easily we have quick edit options settings everything available right here now let's compare it to squarespace so here we have our Squarespace. In Squarespace menu, we have marketing, scheduling. Squarespace is very famous for its scheduling and appointments. Uh, so we have design, we have commerce, profiles, and analytics. If we compare this panel to the Wix panel that we checked out, I think Wix uh, has a point here. Now let's click on edit and open up the editor. So this is our Squarespace editor. And on our Squarespace editor, it's actually really easy. First, you have to select the section you want to add it. And then we can add different blocks to it. We can add different elements, whatever you want to do. So if you want to add a section with our Squarespace, it's a simple, uh, very easy to use editor. And you can see as I hover over the website, the theme that we have selected, it allows me to add a section to add different things to the website. So how to add an element on Squarespace? So you just click right here on add block. You click on add blog and it opens up the basic themes for you so we have text that we can add we have images buttons videos map shape then we have charts quotes that we can add we have audios uh, we have scrolling effects we have integrations such as instagram twitter and more so with squarespace we have the integration section right here and then we also have the premium where you can add more integrations and with wix we have the wix marketplace for example you select the image and then it adds an image right here so this is like a blog that you can add if you want to add an image gallery then you will actually have to click on edit section and then add it out according to you and moving things on squarespace is actually more easier than wix because it has its own pixels behind in the background and you'll be able to adjust everything according to that um, and you'll be able to add different elements the elements that we have on wix are um, a little more than the ones that we have on squarespace so that's also a difference and with this uh, squarespace we'll be able to edit the text of course upload your images media uh, we also have links that we can add you will be able to edit the header and footer as well so it's a pretty good editor that you can go for click on this right here and it'll allow you to customize the site style so inside style we have fonts colors uh, animation spacing buttons and image blocks once you're done you'll be able to get a preview and after the preview you can publish the website from your dashboard that is also a difference so you have to click on save right here and it'll take you back 
uh, out of your editor and then you will have to open up your settings right here your account and then publish on wix you get the publish option right here at the top um, so these are some of the major differences between Squarespace and Wix um, when it comes to the pricing plan as well you can check it out on the um, websites of Wix.com and Squarespace.com and it will also give you an idea about the affordability of the platform you can also get your own domain with Wix and with Squarespace as well and also transfer or connect your own domains um so yeah guys uh, this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel